Okay, hello. Good evening sa lahat ng ating mga kaguro all over the country and of course, uh, pati sa, lab, uh, sa labas ng ating bansa. Okay, so ngayong gabi po, meron po tayong discussion for clerical reasoning. Okay, for this for this uh, discussion po, this is for our civil service examiners. Um, particularly po for those na magte-take ng sub-professional level na CSE this upcoming March. Okay? So, please comment your location po para malaman po natin kung hanggang saan pa uh, umaabot ang ating review dito sa Gurong Pinoy. Okay? So, magandang gabi po sa ating lahat. Okay, good evening kay Sir Aswi Trabanes June. Magandang gabi po, Sir. Okay, so for those na hindi pa po member ng ating exclusive group no, for civil service exam and of course sa left, magpa-member na po tayo. Just message us sa ating FB page. Okay, and of course congratulations sa ating mga newest LPTs. Oh. Uh, marami na tayong um, nadagdag na mga licensed professional teacher. Isang maligayang pagbati po sa inyong lahat. Okay, so good evening din kay Ma'am Jonna Pearl of Sid. Okay, so same with Sir Azim Abdul from Zamboanga City. Okay, so maabot pa pala tayo hanggang Zamboanga. Okay, and then of course, please mention your friends no, na magte-take ng ating uh, CSE uh, Civil Service Exam ngayong March na po. So mabilis lang po yung mga araw, hindi po natin na mamalayan na um, maya, uh, mamaya ay uh, January na po. Okay, nalalapit na po ang 2024. And then, magandang gabi din kay Sir Aswit Rabanes Juno from Cagayan Valley. Good evening po. Okay. So mukhang handa na ang ating mga kagro. Pero bago po yan, um, please like and share our videos. So for tonight, we are discussing the items sa ating diagnostic test pa po, which is for uh, uh, clerical reasoning. So this is for our sub-professional level takers. Okay, good evening din from Basilan, Ma'am Amina um, Gapor Abdullah. Magandang gabi po. Okay, so please tag me your friends na po at magsisimula na po tayo. Okay, so for those na hindi pa po nakakakilala sa akin, ako po ang inyong coach, Coach Georgina Tinasas. I graduated cum laude. Ako ay isang lisensyadong guro na din at um, masasabi ko pong isa sa mga uh, proud na uh, product ng gurong Pinoy. Okay? Meron po tayong uh, let rating which is 90.60. Okay? So, ito po yung uh, bunga ng ating pagtitiwala at of course um, mga items, mga uh, concepts na natutunan natin sa gurong Pinoy International Review. Okay? So, for those na hindi pa po um, familiar o hindi pa po uh, kabisado ang ating schedule for this uh, review session, Tonight, we are having a clerical reasoning discussion. Um, tomorrow, uh, that is verbal reasoning with Coach uh, Sha. Uh, the next week, we have numerical reasoning for January 7. We will have uh, verbal reasoning. January 13, analytical reasoning. January 14, other topics. January 20, analytical reasoning. January 21, other topics. February 3, we have numerical reasoning. February 4, verbal reasoning. February 10, numerical reasoning. And then the following day, we have verbal reasoning. February 17, we have other topics. February 18, verbal reasoning. February 24, analytical reasoning. And last but not the least, on February 25, we will have our discussion for clerical reasoning. Okay, so good evening kay Ma'am Kim Na from Barira, Barira Magindanao. And of course, kay Ma'am Jojit Pagulayan from Antipolo. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Okay, so bago po natin simulan ang ating talakayan ngayong gabi, samahan po ninyo ako sa ating panelat. Okay, so for the Catholics, in the name of the Father of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear Lord, I come to you to ask for guidance and direction in this study session. I ask that the Holy Spirit fill me with strength and understanding to get through my studies without difficulty or sin. Help me hold my focus and attention. 
help me to retain all that I learned. Please make my mind sharp and keep distractions at bay. If any part of my studying is weak or lacking in some way, let it be revealed so that I may correct it. Thank you for the opportunity to learn. Amen. Okay, muli, magandang gabi mga kaguro mula Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao. Uh, live po tayo ngayon for clerical reasoning discussion. Okay, so for those na member na ng ating exclusive group, um, you may uh, check your work during uh, the entire discussion that we will have. And for those na hindi pa po member, humabol na po, um, uh, mag-message lamang po sa ating uh, Facebook group, uh, page para po makapagpa-member po tayo. Okay? And then, so for those na hindi pa po member, mapuputol po ang ating video. So if gusto niyo pong ma-access ang full-length discussions natin, including our PDF files and other materials, um, wag na po magpatumpik-tumpik and then message na po sa ating FB page. Okay, so I guess handa na ang ating mga viewers, ang ating mga live viewers from Facebook page to from our YouTube for our uh, exclusive group. Okay, so magsisimula na po tayo. Okay, Ma'am Jonna Pearl Talaryon of Sid, mag-message lamang po sa ating FB page, Kurong Pinoy po. Okay, now let's proceed. So first part of our clerical reasoning items, we will have our alphabetizing. Wherein, kailangan po nating pagsunod-sunodin ang mga binigay na pangalan base sa kanilang uh, alphabetic order. Okay, pero bago po yan, meron po tayong sinusunod na mga uh, alphabetizing rules. Okay, so for those na first time magta-take, um, uh, dapat po mapanood ninyo ito ang ating um, discussion for clerical reasoning. Again, for this is for sub-professional level takers po. Okay, and then let's proceed to our rule number one. When we are given the title plus the full name, the correct order must be Okay, unahin po natin yung last name, then followed by the first name, the third unit is the middle name, and lastly is the title. Example, we have here, Attorney Samuel P. Hernandez. Okay, paano ba natin ipa-file ang pangalang ito? So as we can see, follow lang po natin yung pattern. Okay, so we have last name which is Hernandez. Followed by the first name, which is Samuel, middle name or middle initial, which is P, and lastly, the title, which is Attorney. Okay, so that's why this is the correct order sa pag-arrange ng ating uh, ng given name na ito. Okay, so I hope rule number one is clear. So let's proceed to rule number two. For rule number two, if we are given the title plus first name lang or last name lang, Okay, ganito po yung ginagawa natin. So halimbawa, unahin po natin yung um, title and then the, the given first name or the given last name. File as written. So halimbawa, Princess Diana is filed as Princess Diana. Okay, walang last name. That's why uh, pinay natin siya as the title plus the given name. And then halimbawa, Father Suarez. So walang first name. So that's why it is filed also as Father Suarez only. Okay, so magandang gabi kay Sir Sherwin Lopez Taplin from Nueva Vizcaya. Good evening po. Okay, I hope rule number two is clear. Now let's proceed to rule number three. For rule number three naman po, if we are given abbreviations, okay, so we are going to spell out them. Okay, halimbawa, we have here Dexter Saint. Okay, ST dot. So, St. Mark is filed as, so dapat po yung St. na to is, 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 is spelled out po natin siya. Okay? So, it will be filed as St. Mark Dexter. Okay? Since so Dexter here is the first name. Okay? Now, let's proceed to the next rule, which is, yes po, uh, Ma'am Amir Israel. This is for subprof po. Okay, yung pinagkaiba lang po ng prof at saka sa prof, yung prof po, analytical reasoning po yung uh, included sa scope ng kanilang exam. While naman po sa my uh, sub prof, we have clerical reasoning. Okay, so now let's proceed to rule number four. So if we are given uppercase and lowercase, okay, so this will be treated equal. 
equally or similarly. Example, we have here McDonald with capital D is the same as McDonald with small letter D. Okay? So, hindi po nagmamatter kung naka-uppercase uh, naka or naka-lowercase yung letters ng words or names. Okay? So, let us file the, them or treat them similarly. Now, let's proceed to rule number five. For rule number five naman po, if we are given business, business name that contains name of person, of course, we are going to apply the filing rules for names of person. As you can remember, the rule number one, mauna yung last name followed by first name, the middle name or the middle initial, and then the name of the uh, type of establishment. So, for example, we have here uh, Josefina S. Soriano Memorial Hospital. So, Josefina S. Soriano here is name, right? This is the name of a person. Now, we are going to file this as um, uh, filing the rules for names of a person. So, we are going to write the last name first followed by the first name, the middle initial, and then this given business name memorial hospital okay so i hope this is clear for rule number five now let's proceed to rule number six okay welcome po ma'am Ma amir israel so for rule number six naman po yung mga small words or yung mga um kagaya ng the of or to are not considered so they are excluded usually okay so halimbawa we have here the small shop so this is also a name for business so since we have here the small word or um, just uh, simple words like the, of, to, so we are going to um, exclude them or pwede ding ilagay natin sa pinakadulo. So we have here, this will be uh, filed as small shop and then the. Okay, so again, tandaan po natin kapag meron pong mga small words sa pangalan ng business, especially sa business po, um, usually, ini-exclude siya or nilalagay siya sa dulo. Okay? Now, let's proceed po sa rule number 7. So, kapag meron po tayong numerals, numbers na uh, nakalagay or included sa pangalan or names na dapat nating i-file, we should spell out those numbers. So, halimbawa, we have here 51st Avenue. So, paano natin ito um, pina-file? Of course, we are going to uh, spell it out first. So, 51st will be spelled it, uh, spelled out first and then the avenue. So, the beginning letter is F. So, madali na po yung pag-alphabetize. Pag naka-spell out na yung mga numbers or numerals na given sa names. Okay? So, now let's proceed po sa rule number 8. Okay. Wala po ba kayong pang-prof? Yung pang-prof po, that was last week, Ma'am uh, Jana. That was last week po. That is analytical reasoning. Analogy and logic po for prof. Okay? Tapos na po na siya last week. So, pwede niyo po siyang balikan sa ating FB page. Okay? Now, let's proceed to rule number 8. So, businesses with the same names. Okay? Halimbawa, parehas lang yung pangalan. We are going to file them according to location. Okay? So, halimbawa, SMCT. So, madami po yung mga branches ng SMCT. So, we are going to file them based po sa kanilang location. So, halimbawa, SMCT Batangas comes before SMCT Iloilo. Just like B is, um, uh, B comes first and then followed by I. So, that is how you file for businesses with the same names. Okay? So, I hope this is clear for rule number eight. Now, let's proceed po sa rule number 9. Okay, for rule number 9, yung mga government departments or agencies or bureaus are filed according to purpose. So, halimbawa, we have here Department of Education, Department of uh, Finance. So, we are going to file this or alphabetize this. So, since Department of Education, the purpose or function is for education, while uh, Department of uh, Finance, the purpose is for finance. So, E comes before F, okay? So, that will be the rule number nine. So, I hope this one is clear. Good evening din po, Ma'am Cheryl de Villia. Okay, so for us to summarize the rules that we have just discussed, number one, if we are going to file for the name of person, 
now uh, we are going to file this as last name followed by first followed by middle name and then the title rule number two title and first uh, title and then first name lang or title and then last name lang if i lang po siya natin as it is okay and then for uh, abbreviation spell out po natin rule number four uppercase and lowercase are treated equally for number five apply filing rules for names in businesses Okay, yung names ng person, i-follow po natin if, if ever meron pong names ng person sa pangalan ng business. And then for rule number six, yung mga small word maliksing salita ay excluded po. Okay, or not considered. Number seven, numerals are spelled out. Okay, and then number eight, businesses with the same names are being filed by their location. Number nine, last rule, government offices filed by function. Okay, I hope our rules are clear now. So I hope this one is uh, easier na for us to answer the uh, items na uh, maaring lumabas sa clerical reasoning na scope po ng ating civil service exam for sub-professional level takers. Okay, without uh, further ado, let's start with our item number one. But before that, directions, arrange the entries in alphabet order. Select the best answer and blacken the corresponding uh, the corresponding space on your answer sheet. Okay, so good evening, Ma'am Shet Centilias from Taiwan. Okay, biruin yung maabot po tayo sa Taiwan. Good evening po, Ma'am. Okay, let's see kung kaya po natin i-alphabetize yung, uh, yung item number one natin. Okay, how are we going to alphabetize this name? So we have A. Angeles Mario P. B. Angeles uh, Maricel P. Uh, letter C. Angeles Marisa P. And then letter D. Angeles Maria P. Okay, so please comment the item number that the number of your choice. Okay, let's see kung sino yung nakakakuha agad ng ating rules at kung sino yung makakasagot ng tama sa unang bilang pa lamang. Okay, just comment your answer. Okay, I can see. Okay, I can see number one. Okay, confidence is Sir Jules. Number one, the yung sagot. I can also see four. Yes, po, ma'am. Kaleha, lovely. Okay, this one is recorded po. Okay. And then, of course, if hindi pa po kayo member ng ating exclusive group, uh, mag-message na po dahil uh, mapuputol po yung uh, discussion natin or yung video tonight. So, para ma-access mo yung full length, mag magpa-member na po tayo. Okay, but the majority that I can see sa comment section is one. Okay, let's see kung sino yung nakakuha agad ng tamang sagot. Okay, first, this one, or lahat po ng uh, nakikita nating pangalan ay pangalan ng tao. And then, hindi na po tayo mahihirapan sa item na ito since naka-arrange na po siya. So, if you can remember our rule number one, last name followed by first name followed by middle name or the middle initial. Now, we have uh, all of the names has last name na Angeles. Okay? And then, lahat nagsisimula sa M. Lahat din sinusundan ng A. Lahat merong R. And then, I. Ngayon, dito po tayo magbe-base sa uh, fifth letters ng ating name. So, we have O. We have C, we have S, and we have A. Okay, so that dito po tayo magbe-base ng ating uh, correct order. So kung titingnan po natin sa alphabetic order or sa ating alphabet, nauuna yung A. Tama po ba? So we have here, we should be starting with D. Okay, this one is the first. Next is C. So this one is the second. Ano yung nauuna? O or S? Okay, so this one is? Okay, so one. Bakit wala po access ng pro? Hello po, ma'am Donna DMs. Okay, this one po is for sub-professional level takers po. Hindi po ito kabilang sa uh, ititake nyo po during the actual civil service exam. Okay? Para hindi po kayo makonfuse. Okay, so next, followed by O and then S. So the correct order must be D, B, A, C. Okay, ito yung tamang pagkakasunod-sunod. 
Yes, ma uh, Sir Michael John Mandas Manasis, how to join po sa exclusive group. Mag-message lang po sa ating FB page, Gurong Pinoy, para po makapagpamember po kayo. Okay. Okay, so ang tamang sagot po ay walang iba kundi ang ating option number one. Napakahusay ng ating mga kaguro. Ang galeng. Okay, very good po. Ang tamang sagot is one. Yes, number one. Sabi ni Ma'am Jonna Pearl Obsid. Okay, so malinaw yung item number one. Now let's proceed po sa item number two. Okay, how about this one? So all, all of the names here are names of business. Okay, businesses. Okay, so let's see kung paano natin ito i-arrange or i-alphabetize. Okay, just comment the item number. Okay, yung ilan sa atin, hindi kinocomment yung item number. Okay, para po malaman natin kung item number 2 pa ba yung uh, kinocomment natin. Good evening po. Lahat po nag-discuss niyo for subgroup po. Okay, so for tonight, for subgroup po ito. Okay, so yung pinagkaiba po natin, sabi ko nga kanina, yung subgroup para uh, yung clerical reasoning, pa, yun lang po yung kinukuha ng subgroup na hindi tinetake ng prof. Okay? And then, yung analytical reasoning naman po, yung tinetake ng prof na hindi tinetake ng sub-prof level takers. Okay. So, I can see three for number two. Please comment po the item number, Ma'am Kitty Bahia Kulodan. Okay. So, paano ba natin ito pagkakasunod-sunodin? Okay. So, first, lahat po sila may fill estate. Okay. And then we have F and M. So magbe-base po tayo dito sa tatlo since tatlo po sila nagsisimula sa financing, finance, and finances. Okay, I can see three. Okay, let's see. Okay, so yung mauuna po dito is, okay, three yung nakikita ko. Okay, ma'am, please comment po the item number. Okay, para alam po natin kung item number one ba yan or item number two yung sinasagutan po. Okay, so let's start. Okay, which comes first? So we have here finance. Okay, finance or financing. So we have here finance. Okay, next followed by, okay, it should, be, it should start with letter D. Tama po ba? Okay, dapat nagsisimula sa D. So, eliminate po natin yung iba nating options. Okay? Okay, three talaga yung sagot ng ating mga kaguro. Consistent mula sa pinakaunang comment hanggang sa pinakatulot, three talaga yung kanilang sagot. Okay, now let's proceed. Okay, so for example, um, finance, that is the D, that is the first. Okay, followed by... Okay, watch, which comes second? Or magpapabase na lang po tayo sa pinakahuli. Okay, para mas madali. Okay, yung pinakahuli dito is management or mansions. Okay, ito di mansions. So dito pa lang po, alam na po natin yung tamang pagkakasunod-sunod. Yung tamang sagot po natin para hindi na po tayo matagalan sa item na ito. Okay, para hindi na po tayo matagalan sa item na ito. Yung gagawin po natin, if, um, nakita na po natin yung pinakauna, and then yung pinakahuli, yun na po automatic yung ating tamang sagot. Especially if wala na po siyang katulad. Okay? So, tingnan po natin if tama po siya. Okay, 1 followed by E. Okay, followed by Okay, this is C. This one's 3. And followed by um, 4 and then 5. So, the correct answer is D, E, C, A, B. Okay. Very good po. Ang tamang sagot po dito is, okay, wait lang po, nag-error uh, po tayo. Okay, so yung tamang sagot po dito is 3. Okay? Number 3 po ang tamang sagot. Okay, D, E, C, A, and B. Okay? So now, klarong-klaro po na ang tamang sagot po is 3. Okay, can you disregard this one? Okay, nag-type po tayo. And our final answer is 3. Decap. Okay, very good po. Now, let's proceed to item number 3. Okay, now let's proceed to item number 3. Just the number 3 naman po, yung mga binigay na pangalan po is title plus first name plus middle name or middle initial plus 
uh, last name. Tingnan natin kung alam natin kung paano sila ipa-file. Okay, that is for item number three. Okay, number three is the answer for number two. Okay, so how about number three? Ano tamang sagot? So as you can remember, rule number one po, that is last name followed by first name followed by middle name or middle initial and then the title. Okay, let's see kung anong ating sagot. I can see number two. May nakikita na akong sagot na number two. Okay, tingnan natin. Okay, but for this, let's see kung paano natin pina-file yung uh, Professor Vicente P. Sulaiman. Okay, so mauuna yung Sulaiman. Okay, followed by Vicente, which is the first name, followed by middle initial, and last is the pro. So that is Sulaiman. Now, let's proceed to the uh, third, uh, the letter B. Okay, that will be Sulaiman, which is the last name, followed by uh, Vincent, followed by Polycarpio and Doctor. Okay, that is the, the B, letter B. And then, paano naman natin pinafile itong letter C? So, that will be, last name is Salomon, followed by the first name, which is Riza, followed by the middle initial, which is B, and the title, which is Engineer. And then for letter D, we have, okay, so take note mga kaguro, pag meron po tayong hyphen, okay, because sometimes confuse po tayo dito because sometimes uh, inisip natin this one is middle name and then this one is last name. So the rule po for hyphen, yung kung ano po yung nauna dito, yung naka-indicate dito, yun po yung uh, i-consider natin. Kung bagay, consider natin siya as one unit. Okay, so don't forget, if merong hyphen, makikita nyo dalawang last name yung nakalagay, uh, i-consider lang po natin siya as one unit. Okay, that is the rule for hyphen. That's why we have Bautista Salomon, and then followed by the first name which is Risa with SS, and then the title which is Attorney. And then for letter E naman po, Solomon. Okay, last name is Solomon the third, and then Polly. Okay, that is the first name. Now, i-alphabetize na po natin ang ating item number three. Tingnan po natin kung ano yung tamang pagkakasunod-sunod. Okay, I can see four, meron ding two, meron three. Okay, the answer is two daw, sabi ni Ma'am Cheryl de Villa. Okay, let's see. Okay, yung mauuna po dito is Salomon. Okay, uh, Bautista, I mean Bautista is the first since letter B comes first. Next is we have this one, letter C, okay, Salomon, okay, Sa, S-A. Don't confuse yung iba po dito is so, S-O. So this one is second, followed by, okay, followed by Solaiman, okay, Solomon. So mahuli yung Solomon. So Solaiman, Solaiman, so we have here, okay, yung nakalagay po dito is Vincent without E. So mauna po siya, three. And then this one is fourth. And last but not the least, yung Solomon po. Siya yung pinakahuli. Ngayon, uh, pag, uh, pagkakasunod-sunodin na po natin, we have um, D followed by C followed by A, B, and E. So our correct order is D, C, A, B, E. Okay, malinaw po ba? D, C, A, B, E. We have Bautista, Salomo, uh, Bautista Solomon, Suleiman, Vincent, Suleiman, Vincent, and Solomon. Okay, so ang tamang sagot po is option number two. Okay, magaling Sir Lloyd Swanner. Very good po. Ngayon naman, punta tayo sa item number four. For item number four, we have here uh, given first name and last name. Okay, para mas madali, paano ba natin i-file yung ganitong mga names? So, of course, last name plus the first name. So, we have yung Patrick McDonald, magiging uh, McDonald Patrick, Mac Adams Ashley, uh, McDonald Phil, uh, Mac Adams uh, Ashley K with the middle initial, and then McDonald Philip. Okay, as you can see, lahat po sila ay merong MC. MC. Okay? Meron MC and then same lang po dito yung MC. Ngayon meron tayong dito
Okay, so we're back. Okay, pasensya na po na wala po tayo na um, nagka-problema po tayo sa connection. Okay, we're back again. Item number four. Okay, for number four po, yung tamang pagkakasunod-sunod po natin dito is Okay, we have B followed by that is Mac Adams Ashley K. That is letter Okay, letter D followed by A which is Patrick and then C, that is McDonald Phil. And lastly, McDonald Philip. Okay, so kung nakikita nyo po, yung Patrick na una siya sa, um, na una yung Patrick sa Phil. Since A comes before H. Okay, and then Philip, siya yung pinakahuli. Okay, so now let's proceed to item number five. Again, ulitin po natin. Yung uh, tamang sagot po for item number four is three. Okay, now let's go back. Number five, we have here the given names of the businesses. So kung mapapansin nyo po, meron po tayong names ng uh, person na naka-include sa pangalan ng businesses. So we are going to file them as yung Carlo Salvador Tire Shop, it will be Salvador Carlo Tire Shop. Okay, last name, first name, and then the name of business. Second is, it will be the Los Reyes Michael Bake Shop, followed by... T by Marco Computer Shop, followed by Makati Clubhouse. Okay, as simple as that. Because since the Makati Clubhouse, walapong nakaindicate na pangalan ng tao or name of person. So mas madali na pusyang i alphabetize. Okay, for number five, ang tamang pagkakasunod-sunod ko natin tingnan po natin. So B, a D comes first, followed by M. Okay, followed by S and lastly four. Okay, so we have the correct order for this is we have B D A C again B D A C de los Rios, uh, de los Reyes, Makati, Salvador, and Tibay. Okay, so the correct answer for item number five is number three B D A C. Okay, now let's proceed po sa item number six. For item number six, we have again another set of names of businesses. So, hindi po ito nawawala sa actual na civil service exam for sub-professional level. Okay, so we have here the Gamers Hut, All Around Toy Store, Jesse Cruz Consultancy Firm, James Harper Incorporated, and a Korean Cuisine Spot. So, as you can remember, sa rule po natin yung mga small words, hindi po sila considered or included. So, we are going to eliminate the and a. Okay, so mas madali na pong uh, i-alphabetize yung ating mga given names. So, we have here, ang mauna, of course, we are, we have B comes first, followed by G, okay, number six, followed by C, okay, this one is. C, that is Cruz Jesse. So, mauna po yung uh, Cruz, yung apelyedo ng uh, tao na naka-include sa ating business name. So, again, this will be 1, that is A, followed by C, Cruz, followed by G, Gamers, followed by H, Harper, and lastly, we have Korean. So, we have here fifth. So, paano natin ito i-alphabetize? So, we have here all around store is the first one, followed by Cruz Jesse, the second one, followed by Gamers Hat, letter G, number three, followed by uh, Harper, James. Okay, so James Harper is the name. Pangalan po siya, Harper, yung last name, and then first name is James. That is the fourth. And then lastly, Korean letter K. So yung tamang pagkakasunod-sunod po natin is, that is uh, B, C, A, D E B C A D E and that is option number one. Okay, so don't forget to comment the item number dot the uh, number of your choice. Okay, so now let's proceed po sa ating item number seven. Okay, another set of names for item number seven. So we have Maria Leticia Yumanan Salam Patapat. Okay, as, uh, as we can, we have said a while ago, yung mga naka-hyphen po na pangalan, mag uh, consider po natin siya as one unit lamang. 
Okay, huwag po tayong makonfuse sa part na ito. And then, we have here Arnold Smith Nomad, Anthony Q. Toledo Santiago, and Adrian P. Ramos. Okay, remember, the hyphen can be found in surname, first name, or middle name. The important thing here is to consider these hyphenated names as one unit only, and then ignore the hyphen. Okay? So that is the another rule for those hyphenated names. So paano natin ito pagkakasunod-sunurin? Okay, so yung Manansala, Maria Leticia U. So that will be Manansala Patapat, Maria Leticia U. Okay, followed by Smith Nomad Arnold G. So Smith Nomad Arnold G. Third is we have Toledo Santiago Anthony Q. Okay, Toledo Santiago Anthony Q. And lastly, yung Adrian P. Ramos po dito. Okay, it will be Ramos Adrian P. Okay, mas madali po siya kapag alam natin yung rules sa pag-alphabetize ng mga given names. So, mas madali na po siyang i-arrange. Okay, so we have here, M comes first, followed by R, followed by S, and lastly, by T. So, we are going to file this as we have here A, B, B, C. Okay? A, B, B, C. So, very good, Ma'am Monique Wata Mama. Okay? Ang tamang sagot po ay is option number one. Okay? Napakahusay. Okay? Tingnan po natin yung susunod na item. If masagot pa din natin ito ng tama. Okay? For number eight, tatlong pangalan lamang po ang ang kailangan natin i-alphabetize. Okay? So, we have here Victor G. Cruz Jr., and Q. Manansala, Ph.D., and C. Uh, Arnold D. De Los Santos, Sr. Okay, paano ba natin ito ipa-file, yung mga pangalan na ito? So, remember, so name suffixes such as junior and senior as well as designation such as Ph.D. and C.P.A. are written as the last unit of the name. So, ito po usually yung nasa pinakadulo ng pangalan na kailangan nating i-file or kailangan nating i-alphabetize. So, paano natin ito i-arrange? Surname first, followed by the first name, middle name, and then the name suffix, and lastly, the title. Okay? So, wag po tayong malito kapag meron pong mga junior, senior, the third, the second, and uh, many more. Okay? So, paano natin i-alphabetize yung Victor G. Cruz Jr.? So, it will be Cruz Victor G. Okay, and then mahuhuli yung suffix, which is the junior. And then yung Manansala LNQ PhD. And lastly, De Los Santos Arnold D. Senior. Okay, kailan po discussion nyo ng math? Okay, so you can go back po sa previous natin. No? Sa video po natin, na ipakita po natin yung uh, schedule ng ating review po, Ma'am Analiza Mendanyo. Okay, so as we can see, paano po natin ito i-arrange? We have C comes first, followed by D, and then by M. So tatlong pangalan lamang po ito. So ang tamang pagkakasunod-sunod is we have A, C, B. Again, A, C, B. Very good po, Ma'am Monique and Sir J. B. Len Paz. Ang tamang sagot po is number two. Okay, very good. Now let's proceed to item number nine. Okay, nasa pang siyam na bilang na po tayo. Okay, for number nine, we have five names to file and to alphabetize. We have Mr. Jonathan De Los Santos Jr., Dr. Anna Beth P. Dimagiba, Alejandro G. Agustin, Attorney Jonathan De Los Santos Sr., Jonathan De Los Santos Jr. Okay, paano natin ito ipa-file? So as we can see, letter A here, we have suffix. Okay, we have first name, uh, we have last name. So, pinafire po natin yung De Los Santos Jonathan Jr. Yung Mr. po, siya yung uh, pinakahuli. Since yung Jr. is part po talaga ng name niya. Okay, just like po sa title. Okay, mahuhuli po siya kumpara sa suffix. And then yung Dr. Anna Beth P. Dimagiba, it will be Dimagiba, which is the last name. First name, Annabeth, middle initial, and then the title, doctor. Okay? Next naman, August, Augustine Alejandro G. Last name, followed by first, and then by middle initial. 
And then we have two de los santos. Meron po tayong senior at junior at yung isa ay may attorney. So we have de los santos Jonathan senior attorney. And then we have de los santos Jonathan junior. So ano yung mauuna, ano yung mahuhuli? Okay, of course, the first one is Agustin. That is the first one. Followed by D-E-D-I-D-E. -E. So dito, dito po tayo sa De Los Santos. Okay? Alin yung mauna? John, Jonathan Jr. Mr. Jonathan Sr. Attorney or John, Jonathan Jr. Of course, that will be Jonathan Jr. Okay? I can see A's. Okay? So sa civil service example, yung ating choices are numbers. Okay? Numbers po yung ating uh, choices. Okay, so we have here, this is the second, followed by, okay, this one, which is the third, and then this one, senior, that is the fourth, and then lastly, we have di magiba, di, that is the fifth. So the correct order po is C, E, okay, meron tayong C, E, followed by A, followed by D, and then B. So, nakikita niyo na po yung tamang sagot. Very good. Ma'am Regine Argania. Our correct answer for this is option number four. Okay, very good din si Ma'am Yilda Tenizo. Okay, ang galing ng ating mga kakaguro sa ating YouTube channel. Okay, ang active ng ating mga members sa ating uh, exclusive group. Hindi din sila nagpapakuli. Okay, tingnan natin for our item number 10. Okay. For the last item for alphabetizing, we have here given uh, the words lang, okay? We are only given simple words. So when alphabetizing correctly, which of the following would be, would be third? Okay, yung tinatanong po natin, ano sa mga ito or alin sa mga ito yung pangatlo kapag i-arrange natin sila in alphabetic order. Okay, so pa para masagot po natin yan, of course, we are going to arrange them first in alphabetic order. So we have here box. Okay, wait na. Okay, we have here box. Okay? Followed by department. Okay? And then of course, yung susunod po is we have L. Both of them has L. So which comes first? Is it the M or the P? Of course, the M. So ito yung pangatlo. So again, one, two, this one is the third. And last, this is the fourth one. Pero yung tinatanong po is yung third, yung pangatlo sa order. Okay, very good, uh, Sir J.V. Uh, J.V. Lenpas. Okay, napakabilis ni Sir Sumagot. Okay, ang tamang sagot po for item number 10 is option number 1. Okay. So, Ma'am Ma Girly Grace Agpasa. Okay, very good po. Uh, Ma'am Monique Watamama. Okay. So, now let's proceed na po sa item number 11. Okay. So, this one is for our spelling items. So, hindi po nawawala yung spelling sa ating clerical reasoning na part ng ating civil service exam. Okay. So, tingnan po natin kung ano or hanggang saan ba tayo sa spelling na part ng ating civil service exam review. Okay. So, direction on your answer sheet, she the number of correct of the word, correctly spelled word again yung hinanap natin is yung correctly sp spelled word sometimes ang tinatanong po sa civil service exam ay yung misspelled word so be care careful po tayo sa direction okay mahalaga po na uh, binabasa muna natin yung directions carefully bago po tayo sumagot dahil sometimes na excited tayo okay and then uh, hindi natin binasa yung directions and that the tendency is magkamali tayo ng sagot. So, be careful for that po. Okay, so again, yung hahanapin natin is yung tamang, uh, yung salitang may tamang bye-bye. Hindi po yung salitang mali ang bye-bye. Okay? Now, let's proceed to item number 11. So, we have here four words. Okay, we have dilemma, chauffeur, assassination, and curiosity. Okay, alin kaya sa mga ito ang correctly? Again, hinanap natin is Correctly spelled word. Okay. I can see number one. Nakikita ko meron na tayong uh, kaguro na sumasagot ng option number one. Okay. How about the others? I can also see two. Okay. May nakikita rin tayong two. Next. Meron ding four. 
Okay. Again, ulitin po natin, yung hinahanap po natin is yung correctly spelled word. Hindi po yung misspelled word. Okay. Okay. I can see four, one. Okay. And then, meron ako nakikitang two. Okay, Sir J.R. Santiago, to the yung sagot. Okay, let's see. Okay, mahalaga po sa spelling if alam din po natin yung uh, meaning. Okay, dahil sometimes kapag alam natin yung meaning or uh, familiar tayo sa word or uh, madalas natin itong nakikita, mas uh, familiar din tayo sa spelling nito. Okay, pag sinabi po kasi natin uh, dilemma, sa salitang dilemma po, yung double is M, hindi po yung L. Okay, so wala na po sa ating uh, remaining option yung number one. Okay, mali po yung pagkakabaybay sa salitang dilemma sa option number one. It should be uh, D-I-L-E-M-M-A. Okay, yung double is yung M, hindi po yung L. Okay, next naman po we have... Okay, o oh yan. Okay, meron na kang nagpo-comment ng two. Okay, next naman is we have chauffeur. Okay, chauffeur. Sounds like chauffeur. Okay, parang katunog ng chauffeur. Pero yung meaning po niya, hindi po siya nagkakalayo sa meaning din ng uh, chauffeur. Okay, by kung sinabi po natin chauffeur, a person employed to drive a private automobile or limousine for the owner. In short, driver. Okay? So, pag sinabi natin chauffeur, that is driver. Okay. Next naman po, we have assassination. Okay? Pag sinabi natin assassination, it means you attack or to attack someone. Okay? Pero yung tamang spelling po ng assassination is double S po and then another double S. Okay, yung problema po dito sa item number 3, isa lang po yung S pagdating dito sa uh, between sa A at saka yung I. So, it must be 2 S din. So, the correct spelling of assassination is A-S-S-A-S-S-I. -S 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 okay, dalawang S po and then another dalawang S. So, hindi din po ito yung ating tamang sagot. Pag sinabi naman natin curiosity, okay, wala pong U ang curiosity. So, ang tamang spelling po ng curiosity is uh, C-U-R-I-O walang U. Okay, dito walang U. Okay, this one is should be not included. Yung tamang spelling is C-U-R-I-O. Parang curio. Curiosity. Okay? So, pag sinabi natin curiosity, ito yung strong desire mo to know or to learn something. You are curious. That is curiosity. Okay, so I hope our answer for number 11, malinaw na ang tamang sagot po natin dito is option number 2. Okay, option number 2 po ang tamang sagot for number 11. Okay, very good, ma'am and um, ma'am Higgs, I mean, ma'am Yulin Salak and then Sir J.F. Yinshu. Okay, very good po. Okay, for those na hindi pa po member ng ating exclusive group, maya-maya lamang ay mapuputol na po ang ating video, kaya uh, mag-message na po tayo at magpa-member na po. Okay, next for item number 12, okay, we have aggression, publicly, resistance, and disappoint. Again, yung hahanapin po natin dito is yung correctly spelled na word. Okay, yung tamang, uh, yung salitang may tamang bye-bye. Okay, is it aggression? Is it publicly? Is it uh, resistance or is it disappoint? Okay, comment your your answer. Okay, the item number and then your answer. Paano po magpa-member? Okay, message lamang po kayo sa ating FB page. Gurong Pinoy po, Ma'am Krisma V. Okay, sige. Tingnan natin kung sino yung makakakuha ng tamang sagot for this item. Okay, I can see two. I can also see three. Uh-huh. 